right, everybody, welcome back to the game day show. So one thing we learned last week, we need to know about our opponent before we play him, all right? And I brought in the expert, the guru, when it comes to the Rams here in Colorado State. Now, I, I have a southern twang, all right? Just, you know, make sure I pronounce everything right. Kelly Lyle, am I saying that right? You, you got it correct, all and right. your twang's not nearly as bad as some I've heard. Now, now <laughs> you work with the, this is another one, help me out, Coloradian? Colorado one. Okay, yeah, he's, he's brushing me up here, so we'll, <laughs> we'll get that right. But uh, you know everything there is to know about the sports team. And, uh, you know, they're high-paced, they're high-tempo. They've given up a lot of points, you know, um, and a lot of yards. But tell us what we can expect, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Well, that's the one thing Colorado State does pretty well is their offense is uh, is still, it's not maybe as powerful as it's been the last couple years. You know, Michael Gallup's now catching passes for the Dallas Cowboys. And Nick Stevens, the second-leading quarterback all-time, is uh, actually hanging out here in town. Didn't quite make it with three different NFL teams that he was with. But they still have K.J. Carter Samuels, graduate transfer quarterback back from Washington through for a school record 537 yards in the opening game against Hawaii. He can really air the ball out, and they have some phenomenal receivers. Warren Jackson, uh, SEC fans might remember, caught two touchdown passes at Alabama last year. Um, that was kind of his his big deal, but now he's a regular in the rotation. He does everything. He lines up in different spots. He's a big 6'5", 6'6", guy that can run. Preston Williams, a Tennessee transfer. Um, he's maybe doing the things that everybody thought he was capable of doing when he came out of high school. He had to sit out last year as a transfer. Um, was also suspended for a while for some legal things, but he's back full go and, and playing yeah, really well. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. And he's playing really well. And uh, and then uh, Ola B.C. Johnson. B.C. Johnson, we call him. Yep. Uh, he's a senior that's just been one of those steady guys that gets better every year that you bring up through your program. He's a kid from Denver. He's number 81 on the field. He's a guy they're going to target a lot as well because they always know he's going to be where he's supposed to be and he's pretty good at beating the coverage. That's sounds like a well-oiled and, you know, precision-type offense. It seems like they're experienced. Arkansas struggled in that first quarter against a team that was fast tempo, and, they, you know, they were mid-range, you know, hits here or there. They understood spacing. Is that what def the defense needs to prepare for today? Uh, probably. That's what Colorado State's very good at. Yeah. Mike Bobo is really good at passing offense. Mm -hmm. His passing offense has been very good since they've been here. He and receivers coach Alvis Witted, Ronnie Lutz and their quarterback, they've done it. They do a really good job at attacking defenses with their passing game. The problem this year is they have a brand new offensive line. Mm. And, uh, you know, the quarterback's probably not going to get as much time as yep. Nick Stevens got last year. We've seen that already a little bit, a little more pressure. K.J. Carter Samuels has some mobility. He's able to kind of step aside, keep plays alive. Um, so that might help him some. The run game is going to be, you know, debatable. <laughs> so they're going to be passing a lot because I don't think they really have a true run game yet. And their only way to win this yep. game, they think, is going to be to air you sound like a lot of Arkansas's deal <laughs> as far as week one is concerned. But defensive-wise, uh, Arkansas this week needs to work on their running game. Is the defense for Colorado State going to help their cause? Uh, I think they're going to be able to run almost at will. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I've been seeing all that. I talked to Chad Morris on a conference call earlier this week. You just... Colorado State's defense has been horrid against both the pass and run. They have a new coordinator. They're trying a new scheme. Went back to a 4-3 from a 3-4. I've got high school coaches calling me up saying they don't even line up right. Oh, wow. Again, I don't know what John Janzik's telling them how they're supposed to be lining up, but you've got local high school coaches saying these guys don't know what they're doing. Again, that's what happens when things go bad. Um, but they have not been. There was a play Colorado had last week where it was a short screen pass. There was not anybody within 10 yards of that running back for the full 75 yards um, of the field. They were that out of position, that outmatched. Yep. And uh, and again, I think their defensive line has the same problems as the offensive line. They have been manhandled by Hawaii and Colorado, yep. and I got a feeling an SEC line is going to be able to pretty much have its way with them. Well, you, you, um, pretty everybody in Arkansas just gasped and said, I hope he is right. If we struggle against the run game today, I mean the run defense today, safe to say Arkansas probably has some issues to kind of get worked out as soon as possible. Either that or Colorado State has done something <laughs> remarkable in the past <laughs> seven days to, or eight days, I guess. They played on a Friday night. Yeah, maybe okay. that, extra day, that extra day Maybe helps. that extra day will do it. I don't know. But uh, what we've seen so far from this Colorado State defense has been, a, you know, a, a disaster. Yeah. It's, I have not seen a defense seem so ill-prepared yeah. as what we've seen the last two weeks. Okay, so real quick, uh, our next segment after the break,
Kendrick is going to be star of the game. Speaking about Arkansas, who's going to be your star of the game that, that fans need to watch out for as far as Colorado State's concerned? Uh, whoever the best running back is because he's going to go for 200 yards. Oh, 200 yards. That's Dick Paul Whaley. That's going to be my pick. I'm going to have that. 28 that. yards he's got yeah. now is going to going to grow exponentially. I, I like this guy. You just need to come on, uh, hop on board with us. All right, we're about to go to break. When we come back, like I said, star of the game, go to our Facebook page right now and let us know who you think the breakout player is going to be. We're going to have all of our picks right after the break. See you in a little bit.